Hi there, welcome back. Dan again from Clean Guru. So, accidental cleaning business success. Does it happen? Sure. But I suggest it's rare, it's not worth much, and it certainly isn't long lasting. It's not permanent. Let me tell you why I say this. The other day, uh, I received a, an email or a message from someone, uh, one of our members, and they were just telling, how, telling me how they were really trying to slow down and analyze all the different parts of their business. They were talking about insurance, uh, how, they do, how they were handling their selling, employee hiring, all kinds of things. And he was mentioning that he really is benefiting from this idea of analyzing and taking his time to figure out what's really going on. The reason I mentioned this is I was out at the, uh, the driving range the other day and I am by no means a great golfer. Tony and I just played occasionally, we're kind of duffers. But I was out at the driving range trying to uh, practice and I noticed uh, a couple young guys nearby and they were hitting a large bucket of balls as fast as you possibly could by the way they were really going through it and they were brand new or I would say I'm assuming kind of new because the balls were just flying all over suddenly one ball went great accidentally right it went right down the middle and and he was so happy which is which is fine I get that but Really, it was real short-lived because the very next ball, of course, and from then on, he didn't know how to do that. I mean, he didn't know where to move his body and how to do a golf swing, so it just accidentally happened. Well, it can be the same thing in cleaning. I don't care if it's an employee that you hired, and you're hiring as fast as you can, and you're really not looking at it very carefully, but you have somebody that really works out. It's kind of an accidental cleaning business success in terms of a new hire. You go, boy, that worked out great. Or let's say somehow you landed a sale, but you're just running around. You really don't know how it happened, but you landed a sale. Those kinds of things can happen, but they're really not very valuable unless you analyze them. So that's really the lesson for today, that if you want to move past accidental success in cleaning and make it permanent, then you have to what? Slow down. You have to look at it. You have to track it. You have to test it. So, for example, in the hiring part, you might think, okay, let me see what's going on here. Am I always um, having two interviews? Uh, am I always checking background checks? Am I, um, let's say, for example, you might change something. And you might say, listen, I noticed that when I don't bring them on to clean, but I make their first stop in with us to do a little bit, a little bit of a uh, classroom training in our office, I noticed by the next time they come, the people that stick around who show up for that training, that classroom training, they're much better. That, so you may have identified what led to the success, right? Same thing in selling. If you can take a look at it and say, you know, was it me stopping out more often? Was it how I handled the presentation? Was it how I followed up or, or waited to follow up or how I handled the conversation when I was selling to them? Again, accidental success can happen, but more important is just as this one member was saying, slowing down to take the time to figure out what's working and what's not. Till next time, remember, you can do this. You really can.